SpaceX's transformative mission. What innovations and advancements could be missing? SpaceX's significance has been consistently demonstrated through the incredible accomplishments of its Falcon rockets and Dragon spacecraft. The recent success of Starship's Flight 5, particularly the successful recovery of its Super Heavy booster, has further reinforced SpaceX's critical role within NASA, especially at a time when the spacecraft is facing many challenges. How important are SpaceX and Flight 5 to NASA's mission? Join us as we discuss this question on today's episode of NR Studio. Flight 5 certainly exceeded the expectations of its backers, achieving incredible success in its pursuit of Super Heavy. Its performance was nothing short of incredible, leaving viewers in awe. For SpaceX, this will be a significant milestone in their quest to achieve full reusability, a critical component to achieving their future goals. Achieving full reusability is a transformative milestone. This milestone is critical to lowering the costs associated with space exploration, while also facilitating faster turnaround times between launches. The ability to relaunch the Super Heavy booster in Starship will significantly reduce costs, allowing NASA to execute more missions on a smaller budget. Additionally, this incredible achievement advances our long-term aspirations, such as establishing a lunar base or facilitating regular missions to Mars. Full reusability is not just a technical achievement. It serves as the foundation for transforming humanity into a multi-planetary reality. NASA will likely be the agency most excited about this achievement, aside from SpaceX. NASA stands to benefit tremendously from the success of SpaceX's Starship program. More than any other agency, the collaboration between these two pioneering entities could redefine the future of space exploration. As an integral component of the Artemis program, Starship will serve as the Human Landing System, HLS, tasked with transporting astronauts to the lunar surface for Artemis III. This pivotal role positions Starship as an essential element of NASA's strategy to return humans to the moon for the first time in over 50 years. However, before that can occur, SpaceX must undertake extensive testing to guarantee the vehicle's reliability. These tests encompass a range of critical operations, from orbital refueling to lunar landings, milestones that SpaceX is diligently advancing toward in anticipation of the forthcoming Artemis missions. This is prominently illustrated in Bill Nelson's congratulatory message following the flight. As we set our sights on returning to the moon through the Artemis program, Ongoing testing will equip us for the ambitious missions ahead, including explorations of the Moon's South Pole region and eventual journeys to Mars. In response, Musk expressed his gratitude, stating, Thank you, sir. I look forward to assisting NASA in the endeavor to return humanity to the Moon. Recently, Musk unveiled a new plan. The Starship has the potential to establish a permanent, human-operated science station on the Moon, which would be an incredibly exciting advancement. Just imagine the possibilities that such a facility could unlock for lunar research and exploration. Some speculate that NASA may have influenced the FAR regarding the Moon-based Alpha initiative, potentially expediting our timeline and allowing us to avoid waiting until November for Flight 5. Why does the success of Starship hold such significance for NASA? The answer lies in the fact that the Artemis III mission is less than two years away. Although SpaceX has numerous milestones to accomplish, including the construction and testing of the Starship HLS and the development of a refueling system, they must first launch several Starships to guarantee reliability. Achieving these objectives will require a substantial commitment to launching a significant number of Starships. The development of Starship tankers is essential to support the refueling initiative. In addition to launching, significant emphasis must also be placed on lending. It will enhance the reliability of the endeavor to safely land on the lunar surface. Only when the system is genuinely fully reusable, successfully landing both the Super Heavy and the Starship, can all of these requirements be effectively implemented. The initial step in this preparation process is successfully capturing Super Heavy. In light of their recent success, Musk and SpaceX have set ambitious plans to deploy a recovery ship early next year. In addition to attaining complete reusability, this initiative marks the next phase of preparations for Artemis. The spacecraft will play a more pivotal role in the mission compared to the Super Heavy rocket. Following our contemplation of the Moon, it is only natural that we subsequently direct our attention to Mars. Starship was designed specifically for the colonization of Mars. 
and SpaceX stands out as the organization most promising in our quest to reach the red planet. Their innovative approach and relentless pursuit of this ambitious goal inspire hope for humanity's future among the stars. However, venturing to Mars entails much more than simply constructing a spacecraft. It necessitates advancements in long-duration life support systems, in-orbit refueling capabilities, and secure habitats for astronauts to live and work on the Red Planet. SpaceX's visionary objectives may lay the groundwork for a sustainable human presence on Mars, with Starship serving as the pivotal vehicle for these ambitious missions. While NASA has laid out its ambitions for Mars by 2035, SpaceX's vision is decidedly more immediate. This opens the door for potential collaboration between the two organizations to reach this monumental goal. Starship's significance is set to increase substantially as NASA contends with a host of formidable competitors, while simultaneously grappling with various complications within its own systems. For over a decade, NASA's lunar programs have gained notoriety for their delays, cost overruns, and inefficiencies. NASA's most costly system is undoubtedly the Space Launch System, SLS rocket. To initiate the Artemis I mission, NASA allocated over 11 billion US dollars towards the development of this rocket. Currently, they are expected to invest an equivalent amount, if not more, to expedite preparations for the upcoming mission next year. This is by no means an exaggeration. In a report released by the GAO last year, NASA acknowledged that the Space Launch System, SLS project, is unaffordable at its current cost. Additionally, the quality of the SLS has repeatedly come under scrutiny. Recent reports concerning the SLS-1B for Artemis IV have brought to light significant issues with both the core and upper stages, produced by Boeing, which have not met NASA's and international quality standards. These setbacks and failures have resulted in soaring costs with NASA expending over $11 billion on the Artemis I launch alone, the space agency is confronted with the sobering prospect of incurring even greater expenses for upcoming missions, all while the Space Launch System, SLS, continues to grapple with inefficiencies and lingering performance uncertainties. Meanwhile, the SLS's companion, Orion, is exhibiting numerous issues following the Artemis I mission the Orion heat shield sustained significant damage, exhibiting over 100 compromised areas upon re-entry. This presents a challenging predicament for NASA. Revise the heat shield design, potentially causing a delay in the timeline, or maintain the schedule while acknowledging the inherent risks associated with the existing heat shield. We stand less than a year from September 2025, yet NASA has yet to reach a definitive decision on this matter. In addition to the hardware, the mobile launcher, an integral component of the exploration ground system is also plagued by a myriad of issues. In the GAO report, the agency highlighted that in our April 2023 high-risk assessment, NASA continues to grapple with challenges related to curbing cost overruns and mitigating scheduled delays for its most complex and costly initiatives, particularly those associated with human spaceflight, such as EGS. After Artemis I, the mobile launch system suffered a failure, resulting in a lengthy repair time and raising doubts about its long-term viability. The report underscores the importance of the Artemis II component, noting that given the limited margins, any additional issues that may arise during testing or integration could delay the anticipated September 2025 launch date for Artemis II. It may come as a surprise, but NASA is actively planning to use the Space Launch System, SLS, in Orion spacecraft to send humans to Mars by 2035. NASA now faces a formidable challenge from international competitors, particularly China. This competition is forcing a re-evaluation of strategy and innovation in the evolving space exploration landscape. Over the past decade, China has advanced its space program significantly achieving remarkable milestones. These include sending a rover to the moon, landing on the dark side of the lunar surface, and successfully launching a Mars rover. These accomplishments highlight the country's growing prowess in space exploration. China's long-term strategy includes establishing a permanent lunar base, potentially positioning it as a formidable competitor to NASA's Artemis ambitions. The race to the moon and beyond is no longer a one-man pursuit for NASA. 
it must now compete with China's rapidly expanding space capabilities. Collaboration and competition are intertwined as the two nations battle for supremacy in the cosmos. This collaboration with SpaceX is all the more important as it ensures that the United States remains at the forefront of the space race. Clearly, with Starship's rapid progress, the prospect of a human lunar landing remains assured. It took SpaceX only a few years, perhaps less than half the time allotted by NASA, to transform the barren landscape of Boca Chica into the world's most advanced rocket launch and manufacturing facility. With their innovative approach and relentless drive, they are poised to redefine the future of space exploration. In that time, they have gone from hop testing to successfully catching a rocket with the Mechazilla arm. The potential of Starship is incredible, with the ability to launch, reach the moon, and land. Even if SpaceX successfully lands the spacecraft, they may consider the possibility of returning crews without relying on SLS and Orion. SpaceX has supported NASA significantly over the years, not just with Starship, but through a variety of other systems as well. SpaceX's contributions to NASA extend beyond the Starship initiative. Over the years, vehicles like the Falcon 9 and Dragon have evolved into NASA's workhorses, essential for critical missions. The Falcon 9's reusability has resulted in substantial savings for NASA, amounting to billions in launch costs. This makes it the most cost-effective and reliable option for frequent missions. Its capacity for multiple landings and reuse has revolutionized space travel, significantly reducing the exorbitant costs traditionally associated with rocket launches. These innovations mark significant advances in the aerospace industry. Meanwhile, the Falcon Heavy, the most capable operational rocket on the planet, empowers NASA to conduct high-risk missions, such as launching substantial payloads for deep space exploration. The vehicle is critical to NASA's ongoing operations, from launching weather satellites to lunar missions. The collaboration between NASA's extensive mission planning experience and SpaceX's cutting-edge technological innovation creates a powerful synergy. Missions like Crew Dragon's routine trips to the ISS, along with Falcon Heavy's critical role in deploying high-priority space payloads, illustrate the complementary relationship between the two organizations. Each initiative not only strengthens their respective capabilities, but also enhances their collective contributions to space exploration. This collaboration not only secures the United States' position as a leader in space exploration, it also optimizes costs and accelerates project timelines. Moving forward, NASA's partnership with SpaceX will be critical to realizing our aspirations for lunar and Mars exploration. Well, that's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode.